Hi guys, welcome to our practice. Welcome to camel pose, a backbending posture. We need two blocks. We need a blanket, a strap, and a chair. Before we go into our warm up, um, I want to invite you to open your shoulders, mobilize your shoulder girdle joint. We need a strap. You're going to take a strap and take your strap over your head. Now, make sure your elbows are straight. Shoulders down, away from your ears. Strap is right above your head. Then inhale, take your strap all the way back, all the way down to your glutes. And inhale, come back and take your strap forward and touch your pelvis. Inhale, exhale. Make sure your elbows are straight. If you go too short here, then it's very difficult to weave that strap behind you. So you might have to go a little bit wider with your hands. The priority here is to keep the elbows straight. As we opening our shoulder joint, mobilizing shoulders, Inhale, exhale, come forward. A few of those. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Feel the pec stretch, pectoralis minor, deltoid. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears. Oh, feel so good. Now lift your strap right above your head and go a little bit shorter. Walk your hands closer in. Now lift your strap towards your ceiling and then go to the right. Lateral bend, side bending. Think about lengthening, especially the left side of your body. It's very easy to just collapse into your left waist Keep the length on the left side body as well as on the right side. Engage your core, lift your pelvic floor muscles, legs are straight, muscles engage. Go a little bit lower, breathe into your right armpit, right rib cage, right waist, opening the side body. I focus a lot today on opening the side body, preparing or camel pose and then come up again switch second side go to your right and make sure your core is engaged lengthen your tailbone lift your pubic bone a little bit more elbows stay straight deep breathing lift your left armpit lift your left nipple Breathe to your left rib cage, and then come back and relax. Just one more exercise. We're gonna stand next to the wall. So start with your the right hand. So your palm will go horizontal, facing your mat. Position yourself side to the wall all the way touching your right hip to the wall the outer right foot and then think like a karate chop you want to press firmly into the wall with your index finger and then start turning away from the wall turning your body to the left all the way and lift your heart Pressing your hand into the wall, your right elbow is straight. It's my favorite shoulder stretch. So you're working on opening here the right collarbone, pectoralis on the right side, shoulder down away from your ears, and slight external rotation in your upper arm bone, turning your crease of your elbow, the elbow joint towards the ceiling. 
and then switch. Do the same with your left arm. Your left palm is flat. The palm is facing the floor. And you bring your index finger touching the wall. The elbow is straight. Then bring your left hip to the wall. The left deltoid. That's the starting position. And then start slowly, super slow, very subtle, adding that rotation, turning your body towards the middle of the room, away from the wall, and take three to five breaths into your left shoulder, pressing the resistance into the wall with your left palm, just a couple of more deep breaths. And then release. Great. Please come to sitting in a hero position. Grab one block, or if you need two blocks, make sure you are comfortable. Position your blocks in between your heels and sit comfortably, your sit bones are grounded. You might need two blocks to adjust the height, lift the floor if you need to, to feel more comfortable. Roll your shoulders back. Deep knee flexion. Keep your knees hip width apart. our backbending practice. The featured backbend is Ustrasana Kamal Pose. So our focus is on our cervical spine, the relationship between the head, neck and shoulders. We'll begin with activating the deep cervical flexors the neck stabilizers. So we've got those muscles, the deep neck stabilizers, the spine stabilizers, that we use in our uh, camel pose. So now what we're looking for is that slight chin tuck very important not to go all the way down to your breastbone, that's too much. Or keep it like this, where you're crashing the back of your neck. You want to keep your chin neutral. And think about taking the back of your head towards the back body. So you can see it from the side. Very often what we do is this allowing the chin come forward. So all we have to do here is take the back of the skull. So immediately what it happens here with your chin, your chin goes in and slightly down. It's a very subtle action. Lengthen the back of your neck. Lift your breastbone, your sternum. Shoulders back. So, just take a few shoulder shrugs. Lift your shoulders and roll them down. Releasing neck muscles here on the side as well. Another way to think about it is if you're having a fruit between your collarbones and your chin. You just want to squeeze that very gently, holding that fruit in place, but do not crush that fruit. Just again, very subtle action. Additionally, you can place your hands on top of your skull and gently press your hands into the skull and skull into, into your 
hands and feel how the neck immediately lengthens all the muscles here lengthen feels so good just make sure that head stays the back have a sense of lengthening up through the back of your neck so many subtle details to this alignment and close your eyes for a moment feel how the eyeballs soften and soften your eyes keep that activation very subtle tone the deep neck flexors a sense of length at the back of your neck eyes soft soften your forehead temples ears and lengthen deep on your breath bring your palms of your hands in front of your heart offer your practice may this practice be an offering to yourself or something greater than yourself to a collective inhale as you lift up through your sternum and exhale bow your chin to your chest the fruit is not let, not there anymore welcome yourself to your practice feel the back of your neck and release your hands to your eyes lift your chin parallel to the floor and keep that slight chin attack and then slowly open your eyes we're going to come forward and just to releasing our legs into downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana curl your toes and lift your sit bones feet outer hip width apart bend your knees stretch your spine align your ears with your biceps and then press your thighs back stretch your calves hamstrings three more deep breaths and then lower your knees down and grab your strap sit cross-legged sit on the pillow or blanket lift up through your spine you need your strap and position your strap right at the back of your thoracic spine mid spine hold your strap with both hands and adding this very subtle back bend lift your breastbone keep your chin tuck 
just lift through your collarbones and then twist to to the right with gentle back bend straighten your left arm stabilizing your neck muscles opening your mid spine thoracic spine use your core to assist rotation in your spine turn more to the right we're looking to rotate twist the thoracic spine mobilize this part of the spine that very rare we extend and untwist come to neutral make sure your strap is right at the back of your heart and lift adding a gentle back bend exhale twist to the left twist to the left engage your deep core muscles and then straighten your right arm use that right palm to pull your right strap forward more to rotate your thoracic spine more the subtle chin tuck action stay upright keep the back bend keep the slight back bend by lifting your breastbone and then come back and change the cross of your legs so now side bending all the way to the right extend your right arm up and go to the left opening your right armpit opening your right waist right rib cage side bending so good lengthening lifting your heart chest chin breathe into that length slightly external rotation in the top arm the joint of your elbow is turning in towards the skull towards the wall behind you and then switch side bending to the right lift your left left arm straight up and breathe five deep breaths and again one more time first sight right arm goes up keep your right sit bone grounded lengthen through your right hand towards the ceiling lift your heart more pull away that strap with your right hand lengthen more the right side And then one more time, second side, lift your left arm, lift, externally rotate your left arm, breathe. Pull through your left arm or up. And then 
release, release your strap, and just bow forward. Let's breathe here, a few breaths. So our goal is to mobilize the thoracic spine. So in that section of spine is the kyphotic curve, which is the spinal slight flexion. We want to add extension here. So we're working against the natural curve in this specific region of the spine. Come back to your hands and knees. The thoracic mobilization continues. Cut cow, cow position, exhale, cut. Push through your hands, inhale, exhale, flex. Inhale, extend your thoracic spine. Exhale, lift your navel, chin towards your chest. Push through your hands, lift the back of your heart towards the ceiling more. Inhale, again, extension. Exhale, flexion. Inhale, also good, very simple, very deep. Push for your hands. And last one, come back to cow. Lift your sit bones, arch your spine, lift your heart, chest and chin, shoulders back. Curl your toes and come up to downward facing dog. Push for your hands, stretch your shoulders. Pivot on the balls of your feet and shift your heels to the left. Opening the right side of the body, side bending. Externally rotate your right upper arm. Breathe to your right armpit. Take your right hip, right outer hip back. Breathe, like we call it a twisted dog. Then stretch your heels straight back. Make sure your feet are wide apart before you pivot to the second side. Shift your heels to the right. And lift your left hip. Push through your left hand more and externally rotate your left upper arm bone. And breathe. Two more breaths. Take your left hip back more. Open your left waist. And then come back to neutral. Walk your feet forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Bring your hands to your hips, your shoulders back and slowly stand up. Stand with feet hip width apart. So again, find your head position, cervical spine, the skull goes back. 
deep neck flexors engaged, subtle chin tuck action, roll your shoulders back and clasp your hands, interlace your fingers, straighten your elbows, shoulder stretch, extend your shoulders. Now again, make sure the skull is back. Back of your neck is long. Take your tailbone down, push down through your feet, lift up through your sternum. So all these actions we need in camel position, lifting through your breastbone, Lift your sternum up more. Take your hands away from your hips. Strong legs. Slight chin tuck. Stabilizing neck muscles. Go further back. And exhale. Come back. Release the hand clasp. This time we're going to do it with bent elbows. Push your elbows back. Push and lift your breastbone. Just use that to lift your chin slightly and look for a back bend. Shoulders back. The more you go back, the heavier the head gets. Lengthen your tailbone, engage your core. Cervical spine, stability, thoracic spine, mobility, and then relax. And again, bow forward to release. Release your spine now. Spinal flexion. Lengthen halfway, half forward bend. Exhale, step back to plank. And hold your plank. You can modify by Dropping your knees down. Two more breaths. Slowly with control, start bending your elbows and lower yourself down to your belly. Bring your arms forward to Sphinx pose. Make sure your elbows are Shoulder width apart, not wider. Pull your forearms back. Bring your shoulder blades a little bit closer towards each other. Lift your breastbone. Sphinx pose. You focus on pulling your elbows back, taking your shoulders back and taking your breastbone forward. And then exactly where your elbows are, place your hands. Cobra position. Bring your elbows in and pull your chest forward and come up to cobra pose. Engage your abdomen, elbows in. Lift and press back to your downward facing dog. Stretch your spine. Push for your hands more. Lift your right leg up.
bend your right knee and bring your right heel towards your right buttock lift your right knee higher try to lift your knee higher and higher as you bring your heel closer to your right glute and then bring your knee all the way forward and step your right leg in between your hands lower your left knee flat you can grab your blanket to pad your left knee and grab your strap so now your strap goes again underneath your thoracic spine and search for your back bend lift through your heart shoulders back a deep thoracic spine extension chin tucked in back of your skull long now keep that and take your strap into this ridge here at the base of your skull and hold your strap with your both hands externally rotate your upper arm bones very slowly straighten your elbows again back to our head alignment press your skull into your strap shoulders away from your ears lift through your breastbone more and bend your front knee gazing up towards the ceiling again stabilizing the deep neck flexors exhale transition to your downward facing dog take a few breaths push through your hands lift your sit bones ground your heels and lift your left leg up bend your left knee and try to kick your left glute with your left heel and then lift your left knee higher and lift your left knee a little bit more a little bit more lifting opening your hip at the same time trying to kick your left sit bone with your left heel then travel your left knee to your nose around your spine and step your left leg forward grab your strap second side strap goes first under your thoracic spine the back of your heart and take three breaths in your thoracic spine extension applying the skull principles externally rotating your upper arm bones broaden your collar bones and then your skull goes your strap goes underneath your skull right where the ridge is here at the base or suitable ridge suitable and keep your chin tucked in lengthen the back of your neck stabilize your neck muscles and take a couple of breaths back to dog
come back to your right side, right leg up, bend your right knee, lift your right knee, kick your right glute, and then bring your right knee forward, round your spine and step your foot forward, lower your left knee down. So now, again, repeating that thoracic spine extension. And then from here, we're adding a spinal side bending. Lean all the way, all the way to the right, trying to touch the floor as you lift your left arm, we did that when we were in a seated position, Sukhasana, the very beginning of the class. Same action. Keep the back bend action. Lift your left arm up. Trying to touch the floor. If you can't touch the floor, you can grab your block and position your right hand on the block to modify nice second side step back to your downward facing dog lift your left leg up bend your left knee Trying to open the hip, left knee up, left knee up. Trying to kick your left butt cheek. Left, lift, lift. We call it hamstring curl. Trying to activate the hamstring muscle, group of muscles. And then bring your left knee forward. Round your spine, slowly transition all the way forward. Take your block to your left side and grab your strap. Arrange your strap. Just make sure you place your strap right here underneath your shoulder blades. At the back of your heart, this region of your spine right here, thoracic region, mid, mid spine. Lift your chest up and straighten your elbows. Stage one here, stage two, adding side bend. Lifting through your right arm, right hand to the ceiling as you bend your left knee. Breathe deeply. Bend your front knee more. Lift your right nipple, right armpit more. And keep the back bent, chin slightly tucked in. Then transition. Downward facing dog again. And breathe. Stretching your spine. And walk your feet towards your hands. Allow a few moments in forward fold, the knees bend. Strong legs, place your hands on your hips, shoulders back, and slowly come up 
all the way up. Now we're going to make a loop, grab the end of the strap and weave, creating a loop. Make sure the loop is shoulder width apart. Looks like this. I'm going to take that loop behind you. Take your elbows inside of the loop. Turn your palms out. External rotation. And take your arms all the way back. Lift your heart. Chin tuck, back of your neck long, lift your chest. Keep the external rotation in your upper arm bones, turning your palms out, 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 and then bend your elbows and position your hands on your glutes, adding a deeper back bend. Lift your heart more, lift your chest and chin. and relax. We're going to use the chair going a little bit further with this shape. Place your chair on your mat and kneeling in front of the chair. So exactly what we just did with the strap. Reach your arms towards the chair Catch the outer edges of the chair. Now lift your sternum bone. External rotation in your upper arm bones. Draw your shoulders back and in towards the midline. Press through your knees, lengthen your tailbone and take your pubic bone up. Back of your neck is long. Taking a little bit deeper, take your hands flat on the seat of the chair, introducing a deeper external rotation. And breathe. Five breaths. Lift your chest up. Skull goes back. Keep the tone in your neck flexors. So that's the stage one for our camel pose. Prepping our body for a little bit deeper experience. I love working with the chair. It's the safest way to explore basic shapes. Keep this light chin tuck action. Push your knees into your mat. And then hands to your hips. One breath here. And then come up. So deep, so rich. We're going to do Virasana and Supta Virasana. Take the chair away. We're going to focus on stretching our quads, hip flexors here. So you can grab that strap with the loop and wrap around your thighs, around your shins, around your thighs. What it does, it keeps that resistance, keep your knees, hips
hip width apart. You sit in between your heels. If this is too much, grab your block and sit on the block. And press your thighs into your strap and feel the outer hip engaged. Sit in a hero position. Focus again on your skull, the back of your skull, lengthen. Chin, chin tuck, very subtle. Activating the glutes a little bit more by pressing your thighs into your strap. I don't need that block, I can sit in between my heels. Just enjoy that. That might be enough for you. We'll go a little bit further into supine. Go on your forearms. Lengthen your tailbone, lift your pubic bone. And go further. Then watch out your lower back. Your lower back goes into hyper extension because of the tightness in your quads. So engage your belly, draw your front ribs more in, and lengthen your tailbone. Take your arms over your head, you can bend your elbows and catch your elbows with your hands. Supta Virasana. Five deep breaths. And use your arms to support your journey back and come up. Release the strap and stretch your ankles, your knees, your hips in your downward facing dog. One more time. You breathing. Drop your knees down. Please come up to kneeling. You're going to need a blanket. Cushion your knees. We're going to come up to the wall. Your knees will go on top of that blanket and come facing the wall, bring your front hips all the way to the wall, tuck your toes under, lengthen your tailbone down, press your thighs into the wall, and take your chest away from the wall. Remember to push your thighs into the wall, Pressing down into your knees, pressing down into your feet. Lift your chest up. Keep the action. Place your hands on your hips. And then gently try to touch your heels. The more you press your pelvis to the wall, your quads to the wall, the more you can lift your breastbone. So if this is too much, you can stay here. So you're focusing on lifting your breastbone, shoulders back, skull back, exploring how far you can go towards your camel pose. Take a moment to relax.
One more time. Cozy up to the wall. So now quads again touching the wall. Feet are hip width apart. Hands on your hips. Lift your chest up. Lift your chest, thoracic extension. Keep your belly strong. Let the head go back slightly. Keep the tone. Stabilize your cervical spine. And again, try one hand at a time. Reach for your heels. Press your thighs more into the wall. Second hand. Lift your chest up more. Roll your shoulders back. Hands to your hips and come up. And again, stretch legs, spine. Take a child position. Now if your heels were too far away, you can use blocks. So when we go towards the back, you are starting back bending, thoracic extension, and you can't really touch your heels because it's too far, too far down. Please use your blocks as a substitute for your heels and try this or you can come back to your chair again and use the chair to deepen the back bend in a safe way exploring how far you can go searching for that shape Then come back, relax, sit on your heels, take five breaths, close your eyes. We're going to come back to the wall one more time, deepening our journey. Bring your knees again on the blanket. Your thighs are touching the wall. Tuck your toes and take your blocks with you. Start with placing your hands on your hips. Shoulders back. Lift your breastbone, press your thighs, your hips, pelvis towards the wall and start lifting the chest off the wall, leaning back, chin tuck, shoulders back, use your toes, use your knees to press down into your mat and then find your blocks, find your blocks but keep your thighs and your pelvis glued into the wall, keep pressing your thighs into the wall, lifting the belly button Lengthen your tailbone more, engage your core, shoulders back. So you can see it from the side here. So 
very important to keep the pelvis all the way pressing into the wall and then you can explore how far back you can go camel pose cervical spine st stability and then come back to your downward facing dog lengthen push for your hands and then your spine so if you're a bit more flexible you can definitely try to keep your feet pointed flat and going back same journey going back and then place your hands flat on the soles of your feet it's a bit more advanced option external rotation in your upper arm bones lift your heart lift your abdomen keep your gentle tuck chin tuck Keep pressing your knees down, knees pressing into your mat, and then relax again. Child position. Spinal flexion now. Breathe into your hips, your lower spine, all that. Back bending, just lengthen vertebras, use the breath to release tension. your shins Sukhasana I'm gonna cool down by twisting cactus arms twist all the way to the left use your muscles of your core twist your head your neck release your spine and on twist twist to your right and come back change the cross of your shins take your outer hips back and bow forward and come up a little bit and walk your hands to the left and bow over your left thigh releasing the lumbar spine here on the right side keep your right outer hip grounded stretching the right side of your back and then walk your hands again through the center to the right twist to the right and bow over your right thigh
Breathe to your left waist, your left armpit. Your head. Hands back to center. Take your legs in front of you. Nandasana. Reach your arms up. Exhale, bow forward, Paschimottanasana. You can use your strap, wrap your strap around your feet. You can bend your knees and bow deeper in. Wrap your hands around your outer heels and enjoy that symmetrical forward bend, simple pose. Resting Shavasana. Lie down flat. As your place of relaxation. Throughout the practice, we've been adding tension, creating effort to align skillfully our bodies for a deeper experience of this pose. Now is your time to release it all, all the effort. Let go. Relax your muscles. Soften your abdomen. Both legs are heavy and relaxed. Shoulders heavy and relaxed. Both arms are heavy and relaxed.
slowly coming back to your awareness and from deep in your breath slowly moving one knee at a time bending feet flat take your right arm over your head and the road to your right Press down through your left hand and come up to sitting. Bring your palms of your hands in front of your heart. Thank you so much. Namaste.